Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Bite Size Reviews. This is my series based heavily on LS's series of her Sample Sunday, where she goes through all of her samples and just works through and actually gets use out of each one of her samples. I have amassed quite a collection of samples, and I realized that I was saving these for travel or for whatever and I was never using them. So this is my way of working through all the products and just actually getting use out of them. So I've used four out of the five samples from last video. If you missed that, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards right up here so you can check it out. I'm just going to carry over the last product and I'll tell you why I just didn't get to that one. But since it's been a while since the last video, I just wanted to go ahead and pick out some new samples. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like bite-sized reviews, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon if you haven't already so you're notified whenever I post a new video, which is going to be every Monday through Friday. Okay, so all the little samples that I used this past week. Let's first talk about the foundation sample that I had. I had a sample of the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Long Wear High Cover Foundation in the shade 3.5. The shade was totally off. Like, it was a horrible match, but... The formula and the texture and the finish were gorgeous. If I didn't already like purchase like a higher end foundation not too long ago, I would go out and try to get an actual match of this foundation. It was stunning. It was medium coverage. It wasn't like I wouldn't call it high cover. It was medium coverage, but you could build it up. It just didn't feel too heavy on my skin. I just remember being so impressed by this foundation. They gave you a good amount in the little sample packet. I was able to do my full face and I had a little bit left over so I just carried it down and then I wore a high shirt that day. This is something that's on my radar now. I'm not gonna run out and buy it right away but this, this was a really good sample. The next sample that I had was actually for the Urban Decay All Nighter Full Coverage Concealer. I was hoping to get like a use out of this, but with these little packets right here, I don't know if you can see, there wasn't actually enough product in here to use. Like I couldn't get a use out of this. Even if I just used it on one side of my eye, it wasn't enough. So basically this is just to find your shade, which I guess there is purpose in that, but I'm not getting a sample just to find my shade. I also want to try it at least once. So that was a little bit disappointing. I found that my shade would probably be the second one, which I have a little thing. It's light warm. So that would be the 2.0 to the 2.5. But since I wasn't really able to try it, I don't know if the formula is going to work for me. Based on the sample, I wouldn't run out and buy a full size just because I don't know anything about it other than shade 2.0 or 2.5 might work the best you know the next sample i have is from Corez. this was the wild rose smoothie brighten ugh, words the wild rose smoothie brightening priming moisturizer this was a nice primer i didn't use it as a moisturizer i did my normal skincare routine and before i put my makeup i used this as a primer it wasn't anything like spectacular but it did smell really nice it moisturized would I reach for this over some of my other primers that I like? Probably not, but if you're looking for a nice moisturizer, like I wouldn't say like go out and buy it, but if you could get a sample, I'd say get a sample and try it out. It was good, but not good enough that I would spend Cora's money on a full size, you know? <laughs> the next sample that I had was like a vitamin C peel. It came together, I had to rip it apart to use it. This is from Urzo Laszlo and it was let's see the white marble dual phase vitamin c peel so it was in two parts you smooth like the scrubby part on first and then you smooth the activator on over it leave it for a minute and then wash it off it felt nice it made my skin feel really smooth but other than just feeling smooth and tight nothing really changed it also left me feeling really really dry like i did not like how dry my skin felt after using this so I wouldn't go out and use it again. I do like my current vitamin C serum. I like the idea of doing like a, like a, not exactly a peel, but like a um, exfoliant. Um, but that's not exactly the kind of exfoliant I would go for. I'm, I like more like exfoliant pads, like chemical exfoliants, like that one. But this one was chemical and physical because you actually had to scrub something onto your face. So I think I am more of a fan of the chemical exfoliants over the chemical slash physical and also I'm pretty sure if you were to buy the full size of this you'd have to buy two products and they're probably both really expensive and then you'd have to use them so not something I'm really going to be adding to my routine but it was an okay sample 
The last sample that I didn't actually get to was also from Cora's. This is the Black Pine 3D Sculpting, Firming, and Lifting Super Eye Serum. This is something that I assume you have to use at nighttime. And for some reason, every night when I would go do my skincare routine, I would forget about this until I was done and my moisturizer was already on and I was getting ready for bed. Every night, like, even when I left this in my bathroom, like, I would totally forget about it. So I need to just like remember to use it because you're supposed to put like a serum, you would put it on like before you put your moisturizer on because if you put it on after your moisturizer, it's not going anywhere, it's just gonna sit on top. So I really do just need to use this. Um, I'm definitely going to get to it in the next week or so. Okay, so now that we've gone through that, let's go ahead and pick five more samples from my little bin. So let me just, I'll grab a handful and we'll see what we get. I think that's more than five. Let's let's go through it. Oh, so we got a double one. This is the Power Fabric Foundation, so we'll throw that back in. <laughs> okay, here we go. So the first sample I got is from Grande Lips. This is the Hydrating Lip Plumper. And it's kind of a cute little container. So it's just a, a plumping lip gloss, I assume. Okay, so that'll be cute to try out. The next one that I have is, oh, so this is another foundation from Giorgio Armani. This one is the Luminous Silk Foundation. I don't see a shade on here, so I'm probably just going to find out when I open it, but I am excited to try this out considering how much I love the last Armani foundation that I tried. But from experience, the shade probably isn't going to work, so I'm either going to use it on a day where I could wear a high shirt like this or a day where I really don't have to go anywhere. Okay, so the next sample I have is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. Okay, so it's just a little bit like a single-use eye primer. I haven't really heard anyone talk about this eye primer at all, really. I don't know if it's going to smell like coconut. Um, I'm not going to open it just because it is a one-time use. But I'm excited to try this out because I have been kind of in a rut using like my MAC Paint Pots because I've been trying to get through those. But it's been really keeping me from trying out some other eye primer. So I'm excited to try this one out. I think I had this as a sample before, probably in the first round, um, but this is the Dior Fresh Hydration Sorbet Cream. So it's probably just like a nice moisturizer. I'm pretty sure I've tried this one out, or one that was very similar with similar packaging. Um, but it just seems like a like a cream that you would use at night. So excited to try that one out. Oh, let's not throw it. And our last sample is from Lancome. Uh, this is the Youth Activating Eye Cream. Oh, 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 don't spill. Oh, Jesus, I just spilled. Okay, no, you got it back in there. Okay, so this is an eye cream. I'm not sure I can actually get through all of this by the next time because they give you a good amount of eye cream in here. And you know when you're using eye cream, you really only have to use like a dollop. So I will use this up until the next video, but odds are I'm not going to be able to finish the whole thing by the next check-in. Okay, so we have all of our little samples right here, including the one that I'm carrying over from this week. I'm excited to try out all these things, and I'm glad that I was able to get through a couple from last time. Thank you guys for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give this a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!